Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I've got something very, very awesome for you guys. It's going to be a personalized video from me to you. It's going to basically let me tell you whether or not your PC is good enough to run GTA 5 or not, and uh, it's going to answer every single one of your questions who is uh, who is asking here, and it's going to tell you if you meet the minimum requirements or the recommended requirements as well. Now, if you don't meet the minimum requirements on a PC game, you're more than likely not going to be able to run it, or you're going to have to run it on such low graphic settings that it's not going to be worth it, and a lot of people have just been asking me, hey, is my PC good enough? They've been tweeting me and just sending me like a few tidbits of information about their PC, but it's not anywhere enough for me to tell you yes or no, you cannot run that game. But today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how you can find that out using a website that is very, very, uh, just uh, an awesome, awesome tool. And it's, I'm not sponsored by them, that they don't even know I'm doing this video, but I am going to be kind of promoting them in this video because they're just an, such an awesome site and I really, really do enjoy their content and uh, what, what it actually is. So here is the site right here. It's called Can You Run It? And uh, if you just Google Can You Run It, you can find it or you can go to the link in the description at systemrequirementslab.com and uh, this is what you can see right here powered by System Requirements Lab and there's just a whole bunch of information here so uh, these are some of the most recently searched games H1Z1 came out recently so a lot of people have been searching that one but most of all at the top of the list is GTA 5 now the site works with just hundreds and hundreds of games like whatever you want to search or whatever you want to do you can uh, you can just find it on the list so uh, if you want to do GTA 5 it's, if it's not here anymore just simply type in grand and as you can see right there, Grand Theft Auto V will come up, and then this, this will test your PC if you can run it on uh, on your con on your PC. So you're gonna hit, can you run it? And then you can just do the uh, the Java option. You're probably going to have to accept some sort of like uh, question. It's gonna ask, do you want to run this application or anything like that? And uh, you're just gonna go ahead and have to hit run, and it will ask you a whole bunch of questions. This is all happening off screen, so you guys can't really see it right now. But uh, you'll just have to say yes, yes, yes. And once it says detecting, it will take a few seconds, and it will tell you what your requirements. So as you can see right here from mine, the minimum requirements were passed and the recommended requirements were passed as well. It will say you should have a great experience running this project now or this product. Now if you do not have a check mark on recommended but you have one on minimum, you are good to go. You're still okay. Don't worry about anything. You're gonna be a, you're gonna be able to play the game. If you do not have a check mark on minimum, it's going to give you some set specifications and things that you need to upgrade on your computer. Now you can either buy a brand new one if you want to do that or you might have to go ahead and go ahead and uh, just just upgrade a few parts maybe your graphics card isn't good enough it is going to be a very intensive game it's going to be hard to do and uh, this is what it will actually pop up right here so uh, it says the the minimums it'll, it'll give you check marks it'll give you whatever and I actually just built built a brand new PC to be able to uh, to just do everything so as you can see all my stuff is like the 98th percentile the 95th and 100th percentile of the best video card that uh, that you can get without spending just billions of dollars so uh, as you can see my PC is well well over what I need to have it for but this is because I'm going to be recording at the same time for mod gameplay for a different gameplay of the graphics and everything like that and you guys definitely definitely want to stay tuned to my channel for all the mod gameplay so uh, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was kind of short and it was kind of a different video but so many of you guys have been asking I thought it'd be a very very useful tool for you guys if you do not care about GTA 5 PC don't worry I'm still gonna be doing mod, uh, just regular console gameplay I'm still gonna be doing live streams and everything like that starting tomorrow I'm gonna to be going back into the live streams with uh, with Call of Duty the uh, the new Advanced Warfare DLC is dropping on Tuesday so I'm have some more live streams of that as well as the destiny crotas and hard mode so uh all that stuff is going to be coming to my channel have no fear i have uh, all my videos lined up and uh, it's just been two two pc videos in the past two days simply because uh, i wanted to share, share that information with you guys so anyway guys that is about it for the video i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching